I can <sighs> clear enough snow to get the door open. Aha! Welcome to the luxury cabin. It's a spacious one room with a quaint wood fire and rustic twin bed. We mostly use it to store equipment or sometimes to get away from it all, but that's more of a summer adventure, usually. <laughs> it can get pretty cold at night, even with the fireplace, which I will get lit immediately. Just get this going. All right. So, it's none of my business, but do you usually go on epic adventures all by yourself? Oh, yeah. I I think that's good. Don't let anyone stop you from doing fun things you want to do. Well, we mostly get groups or couples, but honestly, life is short, and when opportunities come along, you've got to just go for it. Okay, life-giving warmth established, and now I'm going to call Tira. Voicemail. Please leave hmm. your message. Tira. Hey, it's Kat. I'm out on the West Trail with someone, and the sled broke on a rock and threw us down a hill. I'm sure you'll notice when the dogs roll into camp without us. Um, anyways, just sitting tight in the cabin. So come pick us up. Okay, bye. I will send her a quick text as well, and go. Oh, well, my phone just died, so there's that. <laughs> the cold will zap a battery just in an instant, so no phone, but she'll notice sooner or later. The dogs will be hungry, so it's not like they're going to sneak into camp quietly. And Yeah, she'll be here soon. Are you warm enough? That's a good idea. I'm going to take off my gloves, too, and warm up my hands. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me see your hands. Oh, my God, what happened? When you lost your gloves? Oh, you must have tried to brace yourself and landed on a log or something. It's impossible to know what's under that snow. Oh, your hands are really scraped up. Not to worry, I have a first aid kit. And it is, oh, right over here. So prepared. <laughs> no, you can't just stick them back into your gloves. That's not sterile. It doesn't hurt that bad. Well, be that as it may, hands, especially fingers, are very delicate. After the skin, there's almost nothing protecting the tendons and bones, and there's no muscles in the fingers, so infections you can get really wild really fast. You gotta take care of those fingers. You wanna be able to high-five people again, don't you? Especially with all the cool stuff you're doing. <laughs> May I see your left hand? Thank you. Oh, you have actual rocks stuck in your hand. Don't worry, they're tiny. And a little blast of saline will take care of those. I bet it's cold. <laughs> it's been out in this cabin. Did that hurt? No? Okay. I will continue then. Oh, I hope you didn't have any evening plans that this ruined for you. A candlelight dinner? 
Oh, no, I am so sorry. Oh, so you can pick any night that you're staying at the hotel to go? Okay, good. <laughs> I'd feel terrible if I ruined your fancy dinner. Are you just on a whole vacation by yourself? No, I think it's great. It just, it just sounds like you booked a lot of couples activities. Oh. So it was going to be a romantic getaway. And then the romance left you. That sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, oh, did that hurt? I'm just trying to get these little pieces of bark off so it can heal clean. Sorry. You think it was a long time coming? When they booked the trip, it seemed like they were overcompensating. Endings are rough. But that's good you think it was for the best. And it's cool you decided to come have fun anyways. Yeah, can't let that go to waste. Give me your right hand. <laughs> I'm sorry, please. I didn't mean to be so bossy. <laughs> I'm on a roll and focused. You know, gotta patch you up. You've got a lot of other fun things to do, it sounds like. Plus, you've got nice hands. Oh, that was, mm, that was weird to say. I, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't mind? Well, yeah, it, it is a compliment. <laughs> well, in that case, I think you're pretty cute and it's making me feel sort of nervous. Not in a bad way, in a fun way. <laughs> as fun as being stranded in the woods can be. <laughs> this other hand doesn't have as much bark stuck in it, but you scraped it pretty bad. It's still bleeding a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that hurts. I'm trying to be gentle. You've been hurt enough. Sounds like. Oh, I did not know there was any water in that kettle <laughs> when I lit the fire. It's been frozen for a while, I guess, but it's ready. Do you want a nice hot cup of water? <laughs> ah, seat yourself. I'm gonna have some. It'll warm me up. I know there's cups back here somewhere. Ah, yes. Ooh. Wow, that is water. So, how long are you here for? Oh, that's good. Gives you enough time to see the sights. Did you just yawn? <laughs> Am I boring you? No, 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 I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Aw, you've been exhausted? Well, stress can do that. Messes with your sleep patterns. Well, I mean, we've got nowhere to go. Feel free to nap by the fire if you want. If you want to hop off the bed and sit on the floor next to me, I can finish wrapping up your hands. And you can just close your eyes for a minute. I know, but I want to wrap them up so they stay clean. Your gloves are full of grit. Come on. I never get to use the first aid kit. Thank you. Okay, right here. And you just close your eyes and take a nap. I'll be done before you know it. All you need is a little bit of antiseptic and some wrap.
Just close your eyes and think of the forest. How calm it is. The falling snow. The beautiful trees. That must be her. Tira, you got my message. I'm so sorry. I knew you were going to be gone for a while, but I didn't notice the dogs came back until I went out to feed them. There was a whole team with no sled. So I went to call you and finally got your message, but your phone must be dead. Oh, it's okay. We managed. Can't keep as warm as the dogs, but we may do. Since your hands are compromised, why don't you sit inside the sled? And then I'll stand behind Tira, and we'll get back to camp and we'll warm up. Okay, just hold on tight. I threw some extra dogs on here because I knew I was picking you up, and even Santa couldn't keep up with this sled. Ah, now this is a real fire. The best part of the lodge besides the hot chocolate. I am so sorry you got stranded your first day on a sled. <laughs> that will be quite a story to tell. I know, but I feel bad. I love dog sledding and I'm bummed this is your first impression of it. If you want, you should come back. No charge, obviously. <laughs> you did really well today, and you can try running your own sled next time and get the full experience if you want to. Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you had a good time. Really? You didn't mind at all. <laughs> well, I'd get stuck in a cabin with you any day. I had a great time. Are you two icicles thawing out? Yes, I can finally feel my toes. And they're going to come back. Your toes? No, no, no. They're returning to try sledding again. Really? She didn't manage to scare you away? Apparently not. Well, if you can make it through a day of her lessons, you can make it through anything. Cat barks so loud, I want to harness her up to the sled sometimes. Hey, I am passionate about my sport. And anyways, you're a natural. I barely had to bark at all. I'm excited. I'd love to see you again. I know you probably have to get going. Oh, Really? Well, sure, I, I could go to dinner. There's no sense in letting it go to waste. You know, with all the candles and everything. That would be really nice. <laughs>